positive and colorful illustrations. Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosalie and I'm an illustrator from Montreal, Canada and I create positive and colorful illustrations through my sticker business, Stickers by Rosalie. This week I'll be sharing my top four illustrated books that inspired me as an illustrator. So let's get started. The first book, which is probably my favorite one, is Something New, Tales from a Makeshift Bride, written and illustrated by Lucy Kneisley. I hope I pronounced that name right. It is one of my absolute favorite books uh, because it is fully colored and it has a number of different styles of illustrations. What I mean by that is that sometimes it's a regular comic strip and on other pages you have different styles of spot illustrations which I really really enjoyed. This book was published in 2016 and it has 291 pages so it is a full stack of wonderful art. It has inspired me because it takes a relatable story which is that the main character is getting married in only a few months. So the story is super super relatable and it was illustrated with a bunch of cool co characters and props. The second book is Simone Simonon, which is a French book. I decided to share it as well, even though it's not in the same language that I produce my content over here, uh, because it has really inspired me, and I think that if you end up re reading it, it's going to inspire you as well. It was published in 2020, and it has 102 pages, so it's a short read, but you take a small glimpse at it every day, and it's really enjoyable that way. What I found interesting about this book is that it has a limited color palette which makes the colors that the uh, illustrator which is Delph Delphi Côté Lacroix it makes the colors that she uses uh, pop more which I really really like. There's also simple shapes and a fun way of drawing characters and she really has her own style which is super inspiring. Uh, I'll try and find a few images to share right here about her work that she shared on Instagram. And yeah, overall, really interesting book, really fast to read and really in inspiring as well. I think that you could do a, an art analysis and take what's in this book and apply it to your own practice. The third book is a classic uh, graphic novel. So it's all black and white. It was published in 2002 and was illustrated by Michel Rabatillati. Uh, you can see all through the book that the uh, illustrator and author has a strong sense of uh, graphic novel structures. So that's really interesting if you uh, once again want to do uh, a book analysis and try to apply that to your own art. Although it was published in 2002, it's still relevant to today. It talks about an old, uh, a story about the author's past and you can really relate to what's, go what's going on. It also has uh, 151 pages and like I said, it's all black and white. So the author really has to choose his shapes and dialogue co correctly to have the story come across. Once again, this author has a strong style. Uh, you can see it through all of his characters, you can see emotions, and you can see uh, his style come through through his illustrations. Finally, the last book is Le Carnet de Nuestapis, so an illustrator's uh, notebook or art book. I decided to include it, although it's not a graphic novel, it's more of a reference book. Uh, I think it's really complete for someone that wants to get started. It talks about the uh, illustration skills as well as the ins and outs of being an illustrator, mostly around content creation, uh, money, and contracts. So yeah, if you're looking for a cool gift to an upcoming illustrator, I really recommend it. And finally, I want to give a quick shout out to two books I've been reading at the moment. The first one is One Last Stop. The illustrations are by Monique Aimé. I bought this book because of the illustration. It brought my eye to it and the illustration really tells the story that's going to go on because these two characters are having a love affair which you'll learn more if you read the book. And last but not least we have So We Meet Again which was illustrated by Joelle Holland. Once again I bought this book because I like the book cover. I really think that you can see the whole story through this without reading this 
you almost <laughs> you still have to read it to learn about the details i'm not sure if you'll be able to see but there is a few details that i only noticed recently about the food and the uh, asian culture i think it's yeah i think it's asian and the lettering is fun what i also learned about this is that the these illustrations mostly the man i think maybe the woman are stock illustrations so it just goes to show that you can create a strong composition with images that you already have or already exist in the illustration world. So that's it for me. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. I would really like for you to share your uh, art books that have inspired you. I'm looking for more art books to read. And yeah, if you are not subscribed already, you can do so right now. And I'll see you next week. Ciao!